Fukushima Prefecture. Were people drilled to know how to respond should there be an emergency? And if so, how did that play out when the actual catastrophe started? This is Fukushima Prefecture. This is 7 o'clock in the morning on the 12th of, of March. This is how they reacted when they thought they were going to die. People were trying to drive as far away as possible from the power plant. It soon caused traffic jams everywhere. The fact that you cannot see radiation makes you so confused and disoriented. And thus everyone becomes so frightened, which leads to irrational and wild behavior. We have the largest uh, number of people around a nuclear plant anywhere in the world, right here. MSNBC found that Indian Point was the reactor in the United States most likely to suffer core failure as a result of an earthquake. New York City is the capital of the world. To have something occur to that capital of the world because of a nuclear accident, you really need to think about uh, the how, how you treat Indian Point from that perspective alone. What communities are going to be ready to deal with huge numbers of evacuees who are scared and injured and so forth? What I'm going to tell you now is my experience taking care of one patient who was contaminated at Indian Point. We needed 60 people to treat this gentleman. The point is, is that if there are seriously injured patients involved in any kind of nuclear contamination, they're going to quickly overwhelm the system. We have to get 12 million people water and food. Volunteers and first responder type people are the ones who are going to be receiving the most radiation. How can we keep the system from breaking down when emergency services uh, aren't able to respond to us? There cannot possibly be an evacuation plan that is based in reality. first groups that's going to hear from people who have gone through a situation that nobody else has ever gone through.